The job center receives about $30,000 a year from the city, and a recent report indicates that about 80% of the workers that come from that center are here illegally. But I'm right in front of the King Supers off of Yosemite and Bellevue. The parking lot right here, as you can see, is practically buried. Encuentro en la carretera Pacific Coast Highway a la altura de Carbon Canyon, pero el incendio se ha concentrado al otro lado de esta loma donde helicópteros han estado expulsando. The canyon with more naive, they are suspecting arson in some of these fires there, is that true? That's true. Actually, I'm near the intersection of Santiago Canyon and Silverado Canyon, where investigators believe was a point of origin. And yes, they do believe that it was uh, caused by a person. Good morning, Sharon. According to a report from the LA Times this morning, these so-called competitions even have names such as Operation Any Booking and Operation Vehicle Impound. The paper received an email from a lieutenant referring to these games that involve teams of deputies patrolling the southeast Los Angeles city's years. Naibe Reynoso is live in Anaheim to take the pulse of the Halo Nation. Good morning, Naive. Good morning and a very happy pulse, Frank. And that's right, the paper this morning says it all, Frank. The angels are the toast of the town. Sí, bueno, como se pueden imaginar, mucha preocupación, especialmente porque la mayoría de las personas no se han podido comunicar con sus seres queridos allá en Perú. Holly Ashcroft is free on $200,000 bail, and she has been suspended from USC pending the outcome of this criminal case. I'm Naive Reynoso reporting live from downtown. Back to you in the studio. Naive, thank you. Apparently, there was an auto pedestrian accident. Two teenagers were attempting to cross the highway. One of them made it, the other one did not survive. It's not clear if that teenager was either struck by one or several cars. They were not hurt when they were found? Neither were hurt, but Patsy Labout, who is 68 years old, does suffer from progressive dementia, so she was admitted to St. Anthony Central as a precautionary measure. WBT News reporter Naibe Reynoso is live tonight in Pueblo. Naibe, smokers there refuse to accept the ban? That's right. They believe Pueblo's smoking ban is stricter than similar ones passed in other cities because, number one, it doesn't allow for special smoking sections, and number two, it prohibits smoking within 20 feet of any public doorway. The bar behind me used chalk to mark exactly where that 20 feet mark is. Many people not very happy with this new law. Hi, Naive. Hi, good morning. Lately, there has been a lot of concern by Lakers fans over the fate of Kobe Bryant. But recent statements made by Lakers owner Jerry Buss and by Bryant himself may clarify the situation. Kobe Bryant posted on his website, Matt Damon's closest friends gathered at the Beverly Hilton on Saturday night as he receives the American Cinematheque Award. Matt, good luck, buddy. Weighing in a little over seven pounds. Now, mom and dad are doing just fine. They just brought the baby home this evening. And boy, they have quite a story to tell him when he grows up and the video to prove it. Reporting live from Highlands Ranch, Naive Reynoso, WB2 News. And they wanted to make it clear that there is no specific known threat to any L.A. nightclub, but of course they want to take all the precautionary measures on this 4th of July. Reporting live from Hollywood, Naiba Reynoso, now back to you guys in the studio.